Good evening, everybody. It's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and it is 7 o'clock on Saturday, so we're going to have a little video tutorial. Let me just be sure that I'm um, transmittalating over here, because I just never know these days with the way Facebook works. <laughs> yeah, leave the page. Okay. Yeah, there we go. It looks like we're on, so that is a good thing. And it looks like maybe somebody's watching already, so... This could be kind of light today, being that it's the day after Christmas, and that is just fine. So, my card today features um, the Many Messages Bundle, which is kind of an interesting set, really. This is all of these sentiments and images, little stars and hearts, are on one stamp. One stamp. Single stamp. See? Just like that. And so you stamp all of them at once, and then... You cut them with the, oh, hello guys, <laughs> there we are, hey, wow, I probably missed a bunch of people, hey Rosie, Debbie, Donna, Linda, Daryl, Glenda, Faith, Sharon, Angie, Lenny, Jewel, and Audrey, hello, appreciate y'all joining and spending part of your weekend with me. So anyway, what I was saying is you stamp this single stamp first with all of those sentiments, and then you cut them all out with this single die. And so then you have a whole bunch of sentiments ready to go. So the card itself is quite straightforward. All right, very easy. We just stamped one of the uh, sentiments and cut it out. And I've got a piece of the gorgeous Fine Art Floral DSP that I cut a stitched rectangle out of the center of and popped it up. So that's very simple, very repeatable. We're going to look at that. But what I wanted to show you is that an idea I saw on... Um, out on the demonstrator planning place. So this was another demonstrator. And she came up with this great idea, and so I did it today. I made, I took this very, very expensive organizing box, by which I mean it was $5. Here's what it looked like. I got it at Harbor Freight. So it's hyper cheap, um, which I thought was fine for what I wanted to do. So what I did is, first, I took a piece of um, Whisper White and I stamped the image on it, and then I put um, an adhesive sheet on the back and cut it out. And then I was able to adhere all of these sentiments to the top of my organizing case. So now, when I get 25 sentiments all in one color, I can just put them in here and have them all separated. And when I need to make, for example, a thinking of you with sympathy, I know I've already got, I see I have one in black and one in terracotta tile. Now these, uh, what I had thought would be a good idea, and I will do that with the one I do today, is to, on the back, just put like, for example, TT, so I would know that it was terracotta tile when I forgot it, because it could also be, you know, Calypso Coral. There's a lot of things it could be. If I just put a little code on the back, that will help me remember what I'm looking for. So this is kind of a fun idea. The other thing that's cool about it is it lets you get a really good look at what all of the image shapes are. Everything is different, and you can see, I like how they have added some stitched elements to a couple, three of the sentiment cutouts. And then look at that one with the real small little scallop. So I think that's kind of a great, um, kind of a good idea just to have these, um, you know, together. And if you get to where you're done with this set and you're not doing it anymore, you've still got all of the sentiments together. And if you decide to use it for something different, you know, your husband or you can use it with the, uh, with the little uh, stickers on it. Okay, so there's my big idea. I'm so proud of that. All right. Yay! Hey, Daryl. Yeah, I'm glad you've started to use the set. Okay, so let's get started. I wanted to do a different, um, I'm going to do a different sentiment today, and I'm going to do a different um, DSP. I've chosen this one for this card front, and I'm going to um, mat it on Bumblebee, and then use a Knight of Navy card base. Okay, so let's get started. And I know I usually do this ahead of time, but I kind of wanted to show you the process. Okay, so let's take a look. Now, you're going to want, in order to cut this image, you're going to want about a five inch wide by seven inch long piece of cardstock. And here is a suggestion I will make for you. When you've cut the first one out, keep your template in your stamp set. 
okay? Because it's very simple to think that as long as this, all of the sentiments are on your cardstock, everything is good to go. But these, uh, these cuts over here on this edge are actually further than the edge of the stamped image. So you have to make sure that you've got everything set up or you have to go really big on your cardstock. Okay, and I don't like to do that. So I've put this into my stamp set and I'm planning to keep it like that. Thank you, Angie, he's so sweet. He takes good pictures. One could even say the camera loves him. Okay, so I've got this set up. I've already got my stamp in <clears throat> my Stamparatus and I am going to do this set in Bumblebee, okay? Now you're gonna want your magnets kind of off of the off of the card piece, um, and then we're just going to stamp it a couple of times to make sure we have it good and good and inked. See that didn't come out so great. So thanks to the magic of the Stamparatus, we're gonna be good to go. Oh shoot! Hang on just a second. I just had a drink emergency. I dropped the drink on my ink pad. Fortunately, it was closed, so we didn't have a true nuclear emergency, just a small, small emergency. So let's go ahead and stamp that again. All right. Hey, Shelly. Hi, Janie from Michigan. Hi, Barbara. Yeah, we have been cold today. Okay, there we go. That looks like a good image, so we'll go ahead and get that off. And it's looking a little damp. I see some shininess. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna just clean this off while I've got it here. This is totally a delaying tactic right now. Now the reason I decided I wanted to do this is I wanna show you how to line this die up, okay? So you're just gonna have to put up with me, okay? Now. Before we get going, let me go ahead and cut my rectangle out, and I'm using this middle rectangle, I believe, just to be sure. Nope, 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 nope. The fourth one from the middle. No, fifth one from the middle. Okay. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to cut the middle out of this piece of DSP, okay? Just like this. Like I said, this is a card front, a layout that you've seen me use before. I, I really like it because it's easy and it's pretty quick and it really lets the DSP do its thing, right? And this DSP is gorgeous. I don't know if you've gotten this one yet. If you don't have this DSP, you just might as well get it right now because it is spectacular. And if you are a customer, just know you are not too many days away from being able to get it. All right, so we're going to take this very gently apart. Okay, and hang on to this. Hey, Alicia. Hi, Julie. Hi, Karen. Yes, Linda, I do too. Hi, Carolyn. I drink them like crazy. Pretty much if I don't have a Diet Mountain Dew, I've got an ice. I tried to stop the Diet Mountain Dew by no later than four, <laughs> or I won't go to sleep. Or actually, the depressing part is I do go to sleep, but I wake up at like two in the morning then, and I can't go back to sleep. Okay, so let's put that aside. And we'll go ahead and mat this up right quick, just to get it started. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the uh, bring the uh, boy I just lost my brain bring the platforms over and show you how I'm how I'm lining up the die cut okay so we're just going to stand um, adhere this with liquid glue to our bumblebee mat try to get it as straight as I can. Which some days is, is not as straight as others. I mean, let's be straight up. All right. And then I'm going to, I have a small piece of, yeah, it's here. It's here. There it is. I have a smaller piece of bumblebee that I'm going to put the middle on. 
And then I'm going to try to remember not to put it on yet because I want to put uh, some of Mossy Meadow braided trim on it. Okay, so we're going to just put that like so. Okay, now let's look. Let's talk about lining this die up. Okay. So what I discovered after doing a few of them is... Hi, Marty. Appreciate you joining. Welcome for the first time. Okay, so the uh, little oval goes on the thank you. And what I discovered is if you use the heart, this heart, and this star down here as kind of like registers, then you're going to be pretty good. Okay, like that. Just like that. Now, I'm going to take it and run it through the big shot. And I'll be right to back. Do not be afraid by the noises you hear. Okay? As we all know, the uh, I, and I said big shot when, of course, that's not what I meant anymore at all. It does make some noise on this big guy. But the good news is, is you really only have to run it through once. And you're going to get them all die cut perfectly, just like that. Done. Now you've got all of these beautiful sentimentes. And I'm going to put this aside. Okay. And just pick those up like that. See, every single time you do it, if you forget to put... If you forget to put... Um, one of the templates away, you'll get it every time. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put this like in my spot, and I'm going to make this a birthday card. So I'm going to not keep that one. I'm going to use a different birthday sentiment. Just wanted to say yes, I'm okay. I'm going to use this as my front, wishing you your magical moments and wonderful memories. All right, and let's see, hooray. Happy to celebrate, oh happy day. Sending a smile your way. See, I have to do this, if I don't, I'm just totally gonna lose it next time. I'll lose them all, yes, because that's how I roll. I can lose stuff that I am looking at. I could be looking right at this right now and totally lose it, really. That. That's just how things are going these days. Anybody else having that problem? Things are getting lost in the in the in the brain bucket. My brain bucket is not bucketing. It's more like sieving. Okay. And then I just put all of these little images, the hearts and stars, in one bin. Okay. Now I'm ready to go. So the next trick for this will be remembering that I have all these sentiments in different colors. Okay. I mean, you know, organization is really only as good as your rememberer. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how our card front is shaping up. Right now, we're doing like this. Let's maybe, sh maybe we should try to put it on straight. Okay. And right side up. And so what I thought I would do here again is um, just really the same exact layout, only I'm going to use this as my sentiment. So I'm going to take a little bit of the new Mossy Meadow braided linen, which you know I love, right? I mean, you know I love it because I love braided linen trim. And I'm going to use a glue dot to... Wait, let me be sure I'm doing this right side and wrong side. Which sideways? Okay like that and then we're going to bring it across here like that mm -hmm. cut it a little too long cut it a little too long but that is what scissors are for oops you see that just jump right out of there so did you guys go do after christmas sales we didn't do any sales we did have to go to tractor supply to get propane for the heater in the barn. Okay, so now I'm going to pop this on with some dimensionals. I know, right, Daryl? It's like I, my brain and my mouth have occasional clutch slippages. 
I can say clutch slippages, but I can't say sentiments. I can't say bumblebee. Weird. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and get these off. I love this. I think you could make a real big old set of cards with just pieces of this fine art floral and um, these images, right? I mean, or these sentiments. Boy, is that not even sort of straight. Well, is what it is at this point. Okay, let's see if that's sort of straight. It's really hard to see it with without being able to get on top of it, just so you know. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, and then I'm gonna just tie a bow with the same linen thread. See, I told you this was hyper easy. Hyper easy, so stinking easy. It is so stinking easy. Good for you, Karen. That's what my plan was, but Wayne was headed to Tractor Supply and Finney told me he really wanted to go. And if he'd gone with just Wayne, he would have ended up just staying in the truck. But since I went, he was able to go in and see some peoples. He still is not actually convinced that not everyone wants to pet him. He, he doesn't understand why anybody would not want to pet him. But, you know, really there are sometimes people who don't. And so he looks very carefully around for anybody who might be acting like they would like to pet him. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, dude, I don't know how you're deciding that, but I don't think that person does. Okay, now, I am using double stacks of dimensionals on this. That's kind of a, a thing. If you're going over one of these kind of thicker knots, that's a thing you're going to probably want to do. Just so that it's all even, right? Otherwise, it's not even. And you don't want things to not be even. It's got to be even, Steven. It's the world of equality. Okay, here we go. Let me be sure. Oh, that one's not sticky. And that one's not sticky. Okay. And you can actually, if you'd like, put a glue dot or a little dab o glue on your knot. And then... I know, I believe everyone, I believe everyone needs to pet Finn. I did have somebody kind of follow us out of the place today and tell me what a beautiful dog he was. And I said, oh, thank you. I thought that was One of my favorite embellishments really is the 2020, 2022 in color enamel dots. And I'm gonna put a few of the bumblebees on here. I think I'll put another one right there, just like that. There we go. Okay, and there's our card front. Done. Easy peasy. Now, on the inside, I'm pulling out the fine art, or the art gallery stamp set. And we're going to make a flower. And I'm going to stamp happy birthday. This is one of its sentiments. And I'm going to use a bumblebee. Oh, bumblebee, where did you go? Here we go. Thank you, Shelly. I appreciate that. All right. So this is Happy Birthday from the Art Gallery set. Okay. And I'm going to put it right in the middle of this Whisper White panel. Okay. And then I'm going to put this away. Now, on this one, when I stamped it, because I had turned the DSP so that normally when you cut this DSP, it's this, it's this orientation, okay? But I didn't like how that orientation looked with where my sentiment was going to be. So I just said, okay, my flowers are coming from the corner. So when I did my inside, I brought the flower from the corner to match that. On this one, it's not really that critical. I could actually even go down here with my my um, flower. But I'm going to do it again from the, up here because I think it's kind of fun. Okay, so I am making a flower and this is like a four-step image. Okay, you've got a large flower. Here, I guess I should show you on the, on the thing. You've got a large flower and this one I'm going to do first and then this one 
and then this one, and then I'm gonna finish off with this little tiny one, okay? And I'm gonna use Flirty Flamingo here and Knight of Navy here to kind of match the um, flowers on the front. That's, that's what I decided, okay? So, first image, I'm going to ink with the Flirty Flamingo and I'm gonna stamp it off once. And I'm going to put it in the corner, okay? The second image, which is the one that has some of the shadowing on it, I'm gonna do in straight, um, straight flirty flamingo. And you just have to kind of look and line it up. Like that, okay. The third image is also going to be straight flirty flamingo. And you can see this little, wait, See right here, this little part right here, it goes in this little gap right there. I mean, that's what I decided when I put this together the first time. Okay, now I'm going to do the final image. Oh, thank you, Dancine, that's very nice. I'm gonna do it in Knight of Navy, but I'm gonna stamp it off once, okay? So I'm gonna stamp it off once, and then I'm just going to put it right in the middle, like so. Okay, now, while I have everything out, I might as well just do the envelope. Just do it, just do the envelope. All right. Now, I'm just gonna apologize straight up. The Whisper White envelopes are sold out, but that is what I started my card with, and so I'm hoping you have these. I'm really, really hoping you have these already. All right, so let's try that again. I'm gonna wipe this off just so I'm starting from square one. I'm going to ink and stamp off once. Make sure I'm putting it in the bottom right corner. And that's stamped off once. The second image is straight up. Like so. Third image, also straight up. And the fourth one is in stamped off once, Knight of Navy. Thank you, Carol. Thanks, Alicia. Appreciate that. Okay, so there's Knight of Navy, stamped off once, and stamped my middle. Okay. If you love the flower, I take no credit. I totally tried to mimic the DSP. So, and I did the same on the uh, on the other on the sample card that you'll see on the blog tomorrow. Um, uh, this one, it looks a little muddy to me sometimes, but I think it turned out okay. This is um, bumblebee and terracotta tile. Okay, I do, I like this flower better. Okay, and let's go ahead, since it's here, and we'll put a little bit of this DSP on here. Because really all we're at now is just assembling. We're just assembling our card right in now. Okay. I think that looks more up than down. We're gonna say it's maybe sideways. Maybe sideways. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Um, just so you know, anybody who's interested, I have an unexpected opening in my host club. So if you're interested in getting in, um, it's a six month time. Uh oh, oh, there we go, we're back. Six months time, it starts in January, which is just in time for celebration. So um, I've only got one spot open. If you're interested in it, let me know right quick so that I can um, include you when I send the info emails out next week. All right, that way you'll be in from the get-go. It's a great way to um, earn double peppermint points and in your host months, you get two host months in six months. The shipping is free. I pay for your shipping there. So, so that's a pretty big savings if you think about it and you're earning peppermints at twice the rate. So that's kind of cool. Okay, let's go ahead and put this together. And I'm gonna use a little liquid glue here. All right. Now the trick will be making sure I put this in right side up because sometimes that flower in the top corner um, makes my brain crazy and forgetful. Crazy and forgetful. It's kind of my, uh, it's my catchphrase these days. And also crookedy. That was so crookedy. Did you see how crookedy that was? Okay, that's better. Not great, but it's better. All right. 
And then we'll just put this in our card base, which again is Knight of Navy. I kind of tried to, obviously I've pulled Flirty Flamingo, Bumblebee, and Knight of Navy together for this one. And the other one was Knight of Navy, Terracotta Tile, and Bumblebee. All right. So let me find my new card base and we'll put some dimensionals on the back here. Oh, my internet. We're going to be lucky. My internet keeps popping out. Does it keep freezing on you guys? Oh, that's so sweet, Daryl. I'm a goat. <laughs> Fortunately, I am so hip that I know what goat means. Mm -hmm. Took me a while. I had to watch some TV to know what goat was. And then we had that stamp set, so that helped a lot. <laughs> that was a funny little stamp set. I liked it. But you had to send your card to the right person if you told them you old goat. You know, the, it had to be somebody who got it. Because otherwise they might have taken offense by that. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I keep getting this signal on my screen that says the live video has been interrupted. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's hard to say which, uh, which color combination I like better. Is this not the most beautiful stinking paper? I mean, look at that. That is so fast. And now that I have all those sentiments made, I can make cards like this all day long. All with just this, this DSP, right? So please, I hope you will um, avail yourself of this DSP. I do have it, uh, this whole set actually, the fine art floral is in the uh, flowers forever. Uh, bundle, my special bundle. So there you go. All right, guys, I appreciate you uh, spending part of your weekend with me, and I hope I will see you next th uh, New Year's Eve. Yeah, we'll do New Year's Eve. We'll try to do New Year's Eve, unless I change my mind between now and then. So you'll just have to kind of watch my blog to see whether we're going to do a video on Thursday at one o'clock on YouTube. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and a good last week of 2020. Say goodbye to 2020, y'all. Okay, we'll see ya. Bye.